This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planters plant food. Hey, I'm Jinx Farmer. I'm a horticulturalist from South Carolina. I was in Beaufort the other day with my friend Francis Parker, who is a garden designer. We were talking about our shared love of growing things from seed. Things that Francis taught me last week, never known this. I had grown from seed and always just like given up when I, when I got an infestation of cutworms, Francis said, oh, Jinx, let me show you a trick to get rid of cutworms. I'm gonna show you that trick today. These are my seedlings of kale. You can see the classic signs of this insect damage. The leaves have been cut. And some of the um, stems have even been cut right in half. So the damage, you know, you look and look and look through a um, pot of seedlings like this and you find no insects. So how can you um, decide what to do about them or if you don't know what it is? Well, I had to recognize this kind of damage as damage from something called cutworm. But there is no worm here. The way to find a cutworm and to get rid of him is simply to understand his life cycle that he lives in the soil in the daytime at night he comes up and cuts these stems so every morning I come out and find half of my seedlings cut off or at least most of their leaves cut off so I'll show you a trick for finding cutworms all you have to do is have a big vat of water and submerge your seedlings. You might have to do this two or three times. You might have to do this two or three times because they don't come out immediately. But the goal is to so saturate that soil with water that any little worm that needs air to live has to come to the surface. So look, I see him. I know you probably don't have a great close-up, but there's a cutworm. Here's a cutworm, and then of course I'll just squish him. 